Real estate can be a real deal right now. Home buyers have access to low mortgage rates, rock bottom prices. Then again, though, the market's still very topsy turvy. Fewer lenders are lending, and foreclosures and short sales can really complicate things. So, how do we navigate buying a home? In today's crazy housing market, joining us right now, Pat Lashinsky, president and CEO of Zip Realty. Pat, you know, even though the conditions out there are good, if you are in the shape to buy, meaning mm -hmm. you've got the three C's, the credit, the capacity, collateral, all that. If you're in good shape, people still are too nervous to pull the lever. So what's stopping them? Well, I think that there's just so much news out there about what's going on in housing that people don't know how to make uh, heads or tails of what's going on. The real the real answer is if you can be knowledgeable about the process and the market that you're working in, if you can know about the neighborhood, and if you're buying for the long term, very similar to the stocks that you were talking about, people who are trying to buy for the short term, yeah. um, it's not a good time to be doing that. Okay, let's right. open up the money line where Eric in New Jersey has a question. Eric, tell us what's up. Sure. My wife and I are looking to purchase a home. And as we drive through neighborhoods, you know, we'd like to have a stable neighborhood that will have appreciation. And, of course, you look for the obvious good schools. We want sidewalks. And you see some neighborhoods that have a lot of for sale signs. And we assume that means we can negotiate a better deal. But that's a known entity. I guess our concern and our question is, what about the foreclosures that we don't see? There could be a half dozen foreclosures that we don't even know if they're on the market at this point. If you're looking at those homes, one thing to really go back and look at is, in the neighborhood you're looking, look at when those homes in the neighborhood were last sold. If they were sold in 2003, 2004, 2005, there's a much greater likelihood of there being more foreclosures there. If you're in a stable environment, a stable neighborhood with good schools, and those homes were sold in 1996 or 7 or 98, the likelihood of there being more foreclosures that you don't know about are smaller. But the sooner that those homes have sold to today, the more likelihood that you're going to see a higher percentage of foreclosures. Christian in Georgia, you're on the money line. What's on your mind? Yes. I would like to know, um, would I secure a better deal on a home through a short sale purchase, and do I go through the same process for buying a short sale home? The one thing to know is that when you are buying a short sale, you're getting yourself into a much more difficult process than you are if you go through almost any of the other processes. If you buy a short sale home, it may take you three to four months after you make an offer until you'll get an answer back. During that time, other homes that may be perfect for you are going to come on the market and gone off, and there may be some great deals out there. REO properties, bank-owned properties, tend to be a better value than short sale because you're not getting any disclosure from the seller on the quality of the property. So if you're really interested in value, you and you find the right home, most people would say that REO properties are probably a better deal for you. Don't try and time the bottom. It just doesn't work. The reality is what you need to do, Carl, is you need to say, am I finding a home that makes sense for my family right now, that makes sense for my financial situation, that I'm planning to live in for five, seven, or ten years? Over the long haul, you'll do just fine if you buy at a place that's appropriate for you. However, people who try and time the bottom typically end up waiting too long. They miss great opportunities, and they, they very rarely get it right. When you see the job numbers start to get better, that's a sign that we might, might see the real estate market come out, of, come out of the doldrums that it's in right now. Because right now, 12% of all mortgages are behind. Right. Even, even the jumbo prime loans are starting to go bad. I think 70% of those are 90 days past due. But as people start to get jobs back, they'll be able to pay their mortgages off. And I think the markets will get a little bit better. Yeah. One, one thing, Carlo, you probably don't know is that right now, there, we're back in a situation where in a lot of markets, we're starting to see multiple offers again. So if you're trying to time it at the bottom, people think that just because the economy's been tough, that it's an easy way to get a good deal. Home prices have come down to the point where there are a lot of people who've been sitting on the sidelines for a long time who are able to afford to get into a house, and we're seeing multiple offers. So don't miss out on the market because you're trying to time it. Find a great place for yourself and be willing to because take action. Because of those interest rates. Carlo, buy when you are ready, not when the market says it's ready.